Hello, my name is Ian McCall and this is another video from the Dermoscopy Made Simple series. Today we're going to talk about acral nevi. Now, acral nevi get a separate uh, area in this uh, website from benign nevi simply because they look so different. And they look so different because of the uh, very different polar surface anatomy of the PAMs and soles. And it gives rise to structures that we describe as parallel furrow and parallel ridge. Now we'll look at these uh, shortly, but the broader area there is a parallel ridge and the pigmented area is the parallel furrow. But parallel furrow can be subdivided into other uh, patterns and we call these lattice, fibrilla, and single and double dots and lines. Now, some of these uh, patterns are really just apparent patterns because they relate to pressure on the, the skin uh, in different areas of the foot and also variations in the surface anatomy uh, on the weight bearing and arch areas of the foot. So, in general terms, parallel furrow patterns are benign and parallel ridge patterns are malignant except for a subcorneal hemorrhage, which will give you a parallel ridge pattern. Okay, let's have a look at uh, what acral nevi look like. This is just to accentuate the, uh, these are the skin markings on a finger uh, or toe, can't remember. Uh, here you have the broad ridge and here with the pigment in it are the narrow furrows. So broad ridge, narrow furrows. We'd have looked, this, uh, looked at this earlier in the um, a video that we did on parallel lines and furrows is one of the structures in kit in terminology. So, pigmented furrow, broad pigmented ridge, or non-pigmented ridge, I should say. Let's have a little look at this one. There's the clinical. I've described it as a benign acrolevis. You can see the markings of the skin here. You can see where the pigment is, just even looking at the, at the clinicals here in the furrows. When you look at it, though, it's a double line uh, furrow variant. Remember I said you can have uh, single line, double lines, series of dots, double line of dots as variants of, uh, of parallel furrow pattern, as well as the lattice and the fibula. Well, this is the double lined furrow variant. There's your ridge there, there's your pigment in the, the furrows, and it's double lined parallel furrows. Okay. Let's have a look at the, the next one. Now here, we have uh, a fairly subtle clinical lesion here. You just can see it here. But then when you have a look at it, there's your parallel furrows. These are your ridges here without pigment in them. Often in the ridges you can see the little white openings of the eccrine ducts, but I can just make them out here. These little lines that are coming off here, vertical to the furrows, these are little fibrils, and it's part of a fibrilla pattern. Sometimes it's a lot more marked. If they go right across here, then we call that a lattice pattern. And I think we can show that uh, to you shortly. OK, here you can see some of the lines going across the ridges here. And this is an area of lattice formation within this one. Here you've got a series of dots in the furrow single line dots in the furrow. I said that was one of the variants. And here at the side, though, um, this is where you should always look at a pigmented lesion on the sole of the foot of the palm of the hand. Look at the edge of it, see where the pattern, see where the pigment is. And this is a parallel furrow pattern that we have here. So we've got fibrilla and lattice patterns are variations of the parallel furrow pattern. It can be seen with changing lateral pressure on the volar skin. So Lines going straight across, we'll start to call that lattice. Uh, these are dots. This is a benign acral nevus. Let's go a little bit further down here. 
and see the next one. Ah, need to make this a touch smaller. There we go. Now, look at these lines here. There's your ridge there. There's your furrows. These are marked fibrillar pattern on the heel. Um, this image was from the scans blog, courtesy of Richard Jones. And I think it was a little seven-year-old Japanese boy. Um, and this was the pattern of, uh, that he showed on this lesion on his heel. It's a very accentuated fibrillar pattern. And here we have another variant. This is a globular or clawed pattern that you'll sometimes see. A bit bigger than dots. Uh, again, mainly congregated in the uh, furrows themselves. But uh, this was described as a globular acronevis. And it's courtesy of Jean-Yves Goulon from the SCANS blog. So these are the little benign variants that you can see in Econevi. Here's another one though. Um, this was the clinical here. Uh, let's try and make that just a little touch larger just to look at it. Let's just uh, go along and just have a look at that clinical. There we go. I thought you might be able to see a bit more. It's almost uh, diffused right across though. It's a question of whether it's going to show uh, a defined parallel furrow or a parallel ridge pattern. Let's just go back and have a little look. Well, I must admit, looking here, this looks awfully parallel ridge-like, doesn't it? The broad ridges, the narrow furrows in between. But when you take that laterally right out to the side and look here, you then see out here that the pigment is in fact in the furrows, not in the ridges. So there are times I, uh, I find some acro regions difficult and difficult to apply this furrow and ridge pattern to, but it's always useful to look at the edges to get the true idea of where this pigment is. Now this slide is uh, from uh, Mauvais and Puig uh, from the archives in 2004. This is just the frequency of patterns that you'll see uh, of acro benign nevi. And you can see they vary a little bit from palms to soles. The furrow pattern is the uh, most common, but you've got the lattice pattern, the fibrillar pattern. Not really in the palms, they're saying, but certainly on the soles. There's a typical patterns, uh, homogeneous, we may say structureless, globular, clod-like, small number, and even reticular. Uh, in about three percent, you know, lines reticular in about three percent of, of uh, lesions on the on the soles. So there's a fair variation. I think I've shown you that already with some of these clinical images. Here's another one. Now this was really just to show you the opening of the eccrine ducts. This is these white dots here in that pale ridge. And you can see the pigment here is actually in between. It's not well shown, but the pigment's confined to the furrows. And these eccrine dots are the opening of the eccrine ducts in the middle of the clear ridges. This was the clinical of the lesion here. Uh, this one. This is a good lattice pattern that we're seeing here. See the lines going straight across the ridges. The pigment though is in the furrows and this was the clinical here. Usually this lattice pattern is seen in the arch areas of the foot but um, it's present here on this thinner eminence. So again a good uh, but I want now occasionally you're going to get lesions like this. Now this one is from the scans blog courtesy of Mike Inskip and it was reported as a compound dysplastic nevus. Look at it. This was how it started here, and then this ring-like uh, area of pigment apparently progressed round the toe. You got a linear extension of cells from the original nevus. Now, if you look at this dermatoscopically, and this is with the photo finder rather than the normal dermatoscope, ooh, this looks awfully parallel ridge, doesn't it? 
um, with there's the opening of your egg crying ducts in the middle of this. Um, same here. This edge area looks awfully parallel ridge. You'd really feel that this was a malignancy, but this was looked at, uh, you know, it was excised, looked at by several pathologists, and they basically wanted it reported as a compound uh, dysplastic nevus. So, at times, uh, things don't seem to always obey the rules. Maybe there's some subtle thing here I'm not seeing. Um, or well, this is some sort of exaggerated lattice type pattern, but uh, just looking at it, it looks awfully parallel ridge to me. However, a most unusual clinical lesion to end up on. But then acral nevi are a little bit like that. You have to look at lots of them to get your eye in. Allegedly about 10% of the uh, population here in Australia will have an acral nevus. So if you go looking for it, you'll see them and photograph them and analyze them afterwards to get, uh, just to expand your um, knowledge of these and the range of these. Oh, the other little thing I should mention is a thing called Wallace's line, which is the line between the dorsum of the foot and the normal skin there and the volar surface and the ridged pattern that we see. We'll come to that uh, a little bit later when we talk about uh, acral lentiginous melanomas. Okay, that's acral nevus. Thank you very much.